Hello and welcome, Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. And of course, autodidactic means to be self-educated. And in bizarro world that we find ourselves, we definitely need to be self-educated. Because if we're not, the only choice we have left is to believe what other people tell us. And of course, there is a lot going on with our information and misinformation at the moment and I wanted to touch today on it's not really misinformation but something that we've been uh, discussing in our community for a while and that is the possibility that buildings and bricks and things like this uh, can be used as batteries of course we've seen the whole red brick uh, studies that they're doing at the moment to turn red bricks into batteries but I have uh, been shown a article by Cameron thank you very much Cameron um, and this is rechargeable cement based battery could let buildings store energy ah, so I thought we'd have a quick look <music> Okay, so it says, imagine entire 10 or 20 storey buildings that can store energy as in a giant battery. This vision may well become a reality as researchers at Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden have succeeded in something unique, a world first concept for a rechargeable cement based battery. The ambition of the researchers is that at some point in the future, this technology will allow the conversion of entire buildings, and it says the conversion, so that would be using you know, the existing cement, uh, conversion of entire buildings into large energy storage areas. That is to function as huge batteries. Although extremely ambitious, the effort may have some Although extremely ambitious, the effort may have some chances of success as cement is the most common building material around the world. Like regular concrete, the concept for the battery first involves a cement-based mixture with small amounts of short carbon fibers, ooh, added to increase the conductivity and flexural toughness. But up here they said that they could rule it out, oh, the conversion, maybe they have to pour a, f a membrane on it I'm not sure uh, in addition a metal coated carbon fiber mesh there you go iron for the anode and nickel for the cathode have been incorporated into the mixture like traditional electrodes these carry electrons back and forth as the device is charged and discharged and uh, just have a look at this picture here and I mean they have drawn what we've been talking about and what Michelle Gibson has uh, done a few videos on and this is a city and it's they've just drawn the batteries in but this is the thing right the circuit board city and these walkways here they they actually remind me of, of these like what these look like and this is the membrane they put over the cement or the concrete and what these look like is RFID chips <laughs> go figure right uh, RFID chip there so these things and when you look at them and of course they've evolved <laughs> okay yeah so these the, what do you think uh, this kind of looking thing <laughs> the RFID chips and of course, yeah, this is on the concept of are the cities or were the cities built basically as circuit boards? What do you think? These things, walk, walkways, crossways, right? Crossways. Uh, the idea allowed the creation of a rechargeable system, but its capabilities are still under investigation. 
This concrete based battery has an energy density of 7 WH, uh, what's that, watts? I don't know, per square meter or 8 watts per liter. A quantity that, according to the team uh, led by Professor Lu Ping Tang, could be more than 10 times that of earlier attempts at concrete batteries. So there you go, they've been looking into this for a while. The concept of using buildings and infrastructure for storing energy could thus be revolutionary because it would offer an alternative solution to the energy crisis by providing a large volume of energy storage. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I'll leave the link so you can read the whole article for yourself, but rechargeable cement based batteries could let buildings store energy. And just in case you haven't seen it, I'll leave the link for this below as well. Chemists created a method to turn red bricks into batteries. Red bricks are among the cheapest building materials worldwide. Buildings made with them can be found everywhere. Now researchers from Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri have turned them into energy storage units that can power electronic devices, thanks to the red pigment they contain, and a conductive polymer coating called P-DOT. These new smart bricks can be charged to hold electricity like a battery. Up until now, the farthest people have gone in thinking outside the brick box has been to utilize the material's thermal mass for heating and cooling by taking advantage of its ability to store the sun's heat. Other than that, bricks have been used for thousands of years merely to enclose spaces and hold up roofs. Uh, so there you go. With this technology, you can now plug your street light into your driveway, your laptop into your wall, and also your light. And of course, we have the panels here, and they grab the energy from the sun and transfer it into the bricks. And there you go. All in all, it's just another brick in the wall. Uh, how a smart brick is made. The scientists developed a P-dot, a coating made up of nanofibers that penetrate the porous structure of the bricks. It is what taps into the red pigment's energy stored potential and turns the block into an ion sponge that conducts and stores energy. So there you go, the red pigment, which is iron, turns the brick into an ion sponge. How ironic. <laughs> um, then they heated a set of bricks with acid vapor to dissolve the hematite. Once the hematite had dissolved, a few other compounds were added, and then the PDOT coating, the bricks changed color from red to a dark brownish blue after the treatment and were riddled with a network of tiny conductive PDOT fibers. Lastly, they were coated and treated to make them waterproof. Uh, so there you go. Again, uh, you know, the little wiggly bits in there, which they love for their, their smart technology. Of course, they're calling these smart bricks. And isn't this always the way? They have to put every, they have to digitize everything because digital is um, against nature. It's not natural. It's against things that live. Therefore, it's the, the backwards, the reverse of live, which is evil. And this is what they do everywhere. And we're seeing this, obviously, in the, the uh, bigger world at the moment. Now, uh, I did want to point out, though, this, this brick here, this is one of the bricks. And they say it goes brown on the outside, uh, you know, when it's coated in this stuff. And you can see here how orange it is on the inside. Now, it reminded me of clinker bricks. And these are clinker bricks. Uh, these are old ones, so you can see rare clinker bricks circa 1920s. And see how they're this dark color on the outside. But when you chip that off, they're this bright orange, just like what we see here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they, these, you know, are old world bricks. You find these a lot. They do make new ones, but uh, they were definitely used a lot in the old world so was this did they have some kind of coating on them that that was turning them into bricks oh not sure what happened there um 
and, and so that they were actually utilizing them as batteries and storage you know see all the blue and everything that's how you sort of tell them they've got this funny dark color and they have these big streaks of blue through them and the thing is were they using a different kind of energy obviously with the energy you know the electricity energy we use today and the frequency that we're you know allowed to use it runs you know through metal through wires but when we look around at what we find in the old world it looks like you know well there is no wires it looks like it was all wireless so were they using it to store but on a different frequency is the question and of course what do we see oh my gosh look at that <laughs> um, what do we see in uh, the star forts which of course are also called batteries right and you know there's this whole narrative with electricity and batteries and charging and you know uh, discharging people all this kind of stuff uh, but what are they built from this this looks like you know I mean we, we don't really know but as far as we can tell it looks like a lot of masonry um, I guess Paul Cook would be the best person to to confirm what they are I know there's a lot of limestone definitely in Malta where he's been but you know these this you know look at this it looks like you know some kind of masonry some kind of made you know like cement so could that have been a, a literal huge battery um, and by the way I think this is a really good video that you should all check out <laughs> there you go um, yeah look cement 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 like oh, this is the thing what do you think is there a connection you know were they using um, you know both the batteries and uh, the bricks right the concrete and the clay beneath our feet it begins to rumble uh, so there you go that's pretty much yeah what I wanted to point out so just a fairly short video today uh, yeah batteries what do you think they're developing the technology they're, they're trying to make it you know this electronic digital AI shall I say and <laughs> can I say that word um, you know and distorting as usual and inverting everything to, to turn it against nature which of course is us so yeah leave your comments below uh, yeah thanks for spending some time with me uh, please share this video if you find it interesting give me a like and of course if you haven't subscribed subscribe hit the bell for the latest notifications uh, of course thank you to all my wonderful uh, supporters uh, on Patreon, PayPal, and everyone who supports me through my merch store and also the links. There are links below, uh, which are affiliate type links, uh, uh, basically for products that will help you out. There's some antivirus, some health stuff, and I'm looking around to get some uh, some really good stuff, uh, some old books actually, so I'll, I'll, on herbalism and building things. So I'll let you know about that, that in the future, but check them out, they're down below and yeah thank you again uh and stay awesome and i'll talk to you all on the next upload bye for now